things you guys did when you took over was reach out to Stanley Moore yeah. and talk to him about coming back this season. Uh, what has he meant to your receiving for your offense and your team? He's meant everything. Um, you know, he's kind of the standard of how we do things around here. Uh, he's been excellent. He's been awesome. Loves football. Um, every time he steps on the field, he's passionate. He plays to the whistle. Um, you know, he sets, the, he sets the standard. And we want all the younger guys uh, in that receiver room to watch him and to be like him. Because if you're like him, you're going to be you're going to be successful. Uh, he's done a great job this year, not only on the field, but also off the field being the leader, um, setting the standards, setting the, uh, the environment, the expectations. You know, even when things were a little rocky and we weren't uh, playing as well, you know, he never jumped ship. He always had a positive attitude and, uh, you know, it's glad to see, I'm glad to see that uh, his hard work and perseverance is paying off. He's on the brink of some pretty impressive milestones. Yeah. I guess for you as a coach, how proud are you to see him potentially yeah. that time? I'm proud to be a small part of it. You know, he's he's had a couple receiver coaches and different different coaches, and they've had parts. And you know, I'm just proud to be have a small part and um, just allow him to be successful and, and pour into his life and be a resource. And um, you know, he's he's been awesome. So it's, it's going to be bittersweet. You know, it's going to be and be excited when he when he gets all those records. But uh, you know that it's coming to an end soon. And I uh, wish I had two, three, four more years with him because he's been uh, he's been awesome. Mm-hmm. No, we're going to play. We're we're, we're going we're going to call the game to win. But we know those guys have to get touches. We know those guys have to make plays. So, you know, if we're doing what we're supposed to do, then th- those records will come because those guys are going to have to make plays. And and uh, you know, our offense kind of goes through those three guys. So, uh, but we're not going to get out of our normal play calling mode just to um, set records. But it, it it'll come if if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Offense. How excited are you to see what you're Very doing? excited. We're playing at a high level. Their defense is playing at a high level. Uh, it's probably the best defense we played since Michigan. Uh, so a great challenge in front of us uh, to really see where we are as an offense. And the guys have embraced that. Uh, they have the number one run defense in the country. And so uh, that, that's going to that's gonna be a challenge. And our offensive line, uh, they're, they're, they're taking that challenge. They're excited. And, uh, you know, can't wait to go out there Saturday and, and, and see what happens. It's going to be maybe in the 20s, possible snow. Does, does that factor in at all? Or is it, I think Scott said last week, the thing that really only bothers him is wind. Yeah, wind. Um, you know, we'll go out there and we'll see what the conditions are. Uh, you know, if it's windy and you can't throw a certain direction, then that'll, that'll factor in the game plan. But right now, uh, we're, gonna, we're scheming up Michigan State as if we would scheme up anybody else. And we'll go out there and see what the conditions and we'll have to adjust as the game goes. But uh, uh, it won't. It won't really affect what we do. Uh, he's been limited. He's been limited. So uh, you know, he's day to day. We'll see what he can do. The good thing about JD is he knows the offense in and out, so he doesn't need a whole lot of practice time uh, to stay sharp. And so we'll make sure that he's healthy, and uh, we'll just see. It's very important because if you don't, if you drop back 40, 50 times, they've got a great front four and they get after you. And so we've got to we've got to be smart. Um, and but we've got to we've got to run the football. Um, you know, that there's times when we're going to spread them out in order to, you know, try to soften them up. But that's a priority. It's priorities run the football. We're averaging two over 220. They're giving up 75. And so we know the challenge at hand, but in order for us to win this game and be successful offensively, we've got to try to run the football. With the way Adrian and your receivers have been able to spread defenses out like that, how, how confident are you in being able to throw the ball a number of times? Yeah, the guys have a lot of confidence. We're playing at a high level, uh, but it really starts up front. It starts with the offensive line, protecting Adrian. It starts with the run game, being able to mix in, run, and pass. We've been successful in the pass game because we've been able to to run the football effectively. So now teams have to put an extra guy in the box. They have to play man on the outside and it gives our receivers opportunity to make plays. So they go hand in hand. Um, we know if it comes down to a throwing game, we're confident in Adrian and the receivers and offensive line to protect them. And, and uh, but we'll just, as we go, we'll just kind of see what type of game it is and, uh, and go from there.
And it helps a lot. You know, he creates a lot with his legs. You know, maybe the play is not there. Um, you know, in terms of the passing game, receivers may not be open, but he'll he'll beat you with his legs. They have to account for him in terms of on defense, and so they they got to add an extra guy in the box, which uh, frees another guy up on the outside. So, uh, him running is 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 huge. It's a huge part of this offense. Um, you know, even in the run game, there's times where he has to read a defense in or a linebacker, and depending on their read, he has to he has to win with his legs. So, he's got to continue to do that. Uh, I think at right now he's he's as healthy as he's been. And it shows on Saturday, and, and that's going to be a huge part of, uh, of moving the ball against, against this defense. How have you seen wide receiver recruits respond to watching this offense and also Adrian? Yeah, they've been excited. They've been excited. Um, not only receive, receiving the targets, but also running back targets and tight end targets. I mean, uh, they see where, where this offense is heading, the versatility of it, um, the explosiveness of it. And so they're excited, and we just got to keep uh, – Keep recruiting and uh, keep putting that, the product on the field and, uh, and, and people to come and, and just keep getting better. It's day by day. So our guys here know that it's, it's all about the next day and we can't rest on what we've done in the past because that's not going to get you anywhere. And that's, that's kind of been our MO and our standard even when we were losing. We came to work every day, forgot about what happened in the past, and every day was a new day. And, and uh, we've done that so far this week. Had, you know, Monday was a good practice, Tuesday was good, today was good, and so uh, I look forward to having a good outcome and, 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 uh, on Saturday.